Good morning, my name is Kawaii Fit and I'm a realtor here in Anchorage, Alaska. Today we're talking about daylighting and daylighting is a sensitive subject for us Alaskans, especially since we don't get a whole bunch of it in the winter time and we need our annual Hawaii fix. But there's a large difference in between artificial lighting and natural lighting when it comes to psychological benefits and I think all of us Alaskans understand that. So in order to take advantage of our daylighting and our natural daylighting that we actually get here in Alaska, I wanted to kind of go through some options that you might have, whether you're building a house or whether you um, want to take your actual current living situation right now and kind of think through how you could better your daylighting opportunities. There are a couple different types of sunlight. First, we have the direct sunlight. So the direct sunlight comes straight from the sun and the rays come hit your house, they come hit your window, they come into your house directly, okay? Then there's external ref reflection. So um, external reflection, reflectance, that's when maybe the sun rays hit directly to your detached metal roofed garage. And then those rays hit from your garage, they're reflected into your house, into the window of your house, and then into your house. And then there's the internal reflectance as well. So when that direct sunlight goes through your window of your house, hits the floor of your house, for example, if you have a hardwood floor, or if you have vinyl floors, something that's reflective, like tile or something like that, then uh, those rays will then be reflected off that into your house. And if you have carpet, then those, <laughs> those rays tend to uh, get soaked up by that carpet and it doesn't help reflect into your house and it doesn't help provide so much daylighting. And I'll talk about that in a little bit too. But in order, like, you need to be thinking about the size of your windows first. You need to be thinking about the orientation of your windows. So what direction are your windows looking? Um, are you gonna even have the opportunity for sun to come into your window? Uh, sometimes the transmittance of your glazing can play a part of that. There are some really nice high-tech glazing or windows glazing um, that are out there right now. There's film that you can put on windows that uh, prevent the light from coming in. There's also specific kinds of um, gas that you can fill your wind or the manufacturer fills the windows with to actually soak up as much heat as it can before it allows any more heat to be transmitted into this space. There's um, you need to take into account the reflectance of your room surfaces, but also reflectance of, you know, obstructions outside. So like maybe your window or your, your uh, tree that's outside of your window or your neighbor's house right there, you know, that's going to prevent any kind of, or possibly prevent any kind of sunshine coming into that window that you're, t that you're looking at. And we're not going to go into shading because any Alaskan adores the sun and we never want to shade anything but you know there are all sorts of typical types of shading ideas for example overhangs and louvers and egg crates but those are really used in the super hot climate areas um, blinds curtains that kind of stuff but my favorite option for us here in Alaska and in the lower 48 but especially up here my favorite option if you know if you have like a hard surface flooring and then you have a carpet on it, okay? Um, or like a, a rug, not a carpet. So you're, so when the light hits directly from the sun, comes in through your window and hits right onto the carpet, or right onto the rug, um, then that rug is gonna absorb a lot of those rays and it's not going to help bring the rest of those rays into the room itself. So it's not really gonna help in daylighting your space. But there's a different way that you can actually bring light into your space by using the ceiling. Because the ceiling, if you think about it, it's super flat, super reflective, not like a carpet that's just gonna soak up all these rays. So I actually drew, drew this out, if you can kind of understand it. Okay, here you go, so you can see it. So this person right now is inside the house, okay? Here's your exterior wall, here's outside. And then you have your window, and typically you're just gonna have a full height window and then your ceiling up here. But what we talk about is using a light shade, a, a, a light shelf, 
And the light shelf is actually where you kind of split the window. Um, maybe like you use the upper sixth um, of, the, of the window height and you split it. So you actually put a shelf right here and sometimes you like typically you'll connect it like typically it'll be connected like some kind of cool metal you know connection make it look all modern and stuff but so the idea is is that the sun directly comes from the sunlight comes directly from the sun hits off of this light shade and shelf light shelf and then it hits up, it goes straight into your house and hits off the ceiling and then is reflected uh, into your space. So you usually have to do this with a kind of a tall window because you obviously don't wanna be putting this light shelf in like your view space of the window. You want it above so that it's taking as much of the sunlight and reflecting it up onto the ceiling as possible. So that's like, one of my loves when it comes to lighting design and using the natural light for it. A um, couple other things, there's a rule of thumb. So when you're talking about allowing light to come straight into your house, um, you take the height of the window and then multiply that by twice, um, two times going horizontally into the space. And that's kind of like your boundary as to how much daylight you're gonna be receiving from that window and um, you'll actually be able to use that light, you know, because the light gets diffused the further and further back you go into the space. And sometimes it's uh, like, it eventually becomes unusable. So you need to turn on some kind of artificial light to be able to see, right? So for task lighting, um, you're gonna wanna take the height of the window and then mm, take it two times away from the base of the window into your space. And that's about where you should um, except that you could finish doing your tasks without artificial lighting. But also again, take into consideration where you are. If this is in the middle of the last winter time, that's not going to work. We barely see the sun over the horizon, right? The sun's not going to be bringing in much light at all into those windows. Or maybe the windows on the north side of your house and in Alaska, that's great. We can get some ambient lighting coming in from the skylight that's diffused by the air molecules from the sun, but it's not gonna be direct light coming in from that north window. So take into consideration this kind of stuff. I have a lot more ideas on lighting and this is my favorite. The light shelves are just so neat and I love it. Okay, have a great day and I will be back in touch.